Hello and welcome to Sci-Fi Night Light, where I basically just talk about random topics that somehow relate to sci-fi and horror. Alright, so it's October, the month of Halloween, and of course that means it's time to line up for some scary movies. And that got me thinking, what is actually the scariest film of all time? Ah! Is that me gone? What the hell are you? I'm a leprechaun, my dear. Now, while that's a fun question to ask, it is in itself almost impossible to answer because what's scary depends on who's watching. Some people find ghosts to be the creepiest thing ever. For people with a phobia for toys or clowns, I'm sure Puppet Master and Stephen King's It are scary as all hell. And for some people who are frightened by really shitty comedy, I'm sure Adam Sandler's recent career is absolutely terrifying. What are we doing? Are you going bald? Huh? No, 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 you're getting fatter, but in your head doesn't realize it needs to cover more face. Okay. So, sure, we won't be able to find one film to rule them all in terms of pure horror, but I'm sure we can find some films that are universally seen as terrifying, lasting staples of horror that continuously are voted to be the scariest ever made. Ah, what the hell is that? Oh, and just a quick side note, I'm excluding gross-out torture porn like a Serbian film and Human Centipede because I don't really consider that to be scary, just mostly gross and disturbing, and it's not really the same thing. I mean, I can show you guys some medical footage from surgery, but that's not really scary, that's just uncomfortable to sit through. So I did some research and found that a couple films continuously showed up on different lists for the scariest movies ever made, so let's check some of them out. First off, we've got the 1978 classic Halloween. Now, I actually remember being scared shitless by this film when I saw it while I was young, and it definitely still has a lot of creepy and unnerving parts. Like Michael Myers' eerily calm walk across the street towards Laurie Strode. and plenty of others. I can't really say that it's quite as scary today as it was when it was released though. I mean, standards have changed, and though I still consider it to be a scary film, the scariest ever? No, probably not. Not today, anyway. Oh no. Oh. One entry that kind of surprised me was A Nightmare on Elm Street, the 1984 original, of course. I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. <laughs> it's definitely got its creepy moments, and it's by far the scariest of the Nightmare on Elm Street series, especially Nancy's battle with Freddy at the end, but I wouldn't really call it the scariest movie of all time. Perhaps the scariest slasher film ever released during the 80s? Yeah, yeah, that could do it. <laughs> God. This is God. 1980's The Shining is one of director Stanley Kubrick's most well-known films and a defining role for lead star Jack Nicholson. Here's Johnny! <laughs> it's got a lot of really creepy scenes like the scary little twins. Come play with us, Danny. and the gross bathroom incident that I'm sure Nicholson wants to forget. However, it's way more atmospheric than scary in my opinion. The entire film is a slow build-up to Nicholson's insanity, and while the thought of a father going homicidal and wanting to kill his family is definitely terrifying, I just don't feel like the sheer raw terror of that aspect translates as well into film. It's definitely creepy and unsettling, but is The Shining the scariest film ever made? Nah, I don't think it was when it came out even. Still though, a great classic. Next up we've got The Exorcist from 1973, which is by many considered the scariest horror film ever made. Now, there's a lot in this film that's still scary and disturbing. 
Linda Blair's performance, in combination with excellent special effects, makes for a truly horrific protagonist, especially considering the creepy and supernatural stuff that happened in real life. For more on the scary filming process that took place for The Exorcist, check out the annotation on the screen. Anyway, while I'd say this holds up very well, even by today's standards, and definitely was the scariest film ever made in 1973, I still feel like it's questionable to give it the title as the scariest ever, even today. Another entry I kind of expected was 1981's The Evil Dead, as it definitely is quite horrifying and with surprisingly good effects that still hold up. This film features tons of creepy ass scary stuff, even to a point where the trees are out to get these poor people. The image of that one deadite under the cellar is pretty haunting and there's a lot of gruesome shots and imagery, however there's also quite a bit of dark humor that halts the scary tone a little bit. So perhaps this is just me who was traumatized by seeing it at a young age, but I find it pretty damn unnerving still to this day. Is it the scariest film ever though? Eh, I don't know, hard to say. It's definitely among the top though. Four of hearts, eight of spades, two of spades, jack of diamonds, jack of clubs! <laughs> from our ancient slumber. <laughs> you will die like the others before you. 1975's Jaws is a true classic that understandably scared the shit out of moviegoers at the time, but I've already talked about Jaws ripoffs, so I'd like to keep the shark talk light. You yell barracuda. Everybody says, huh? What? You yell shark. We've got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. While a classic in every sense of a word, I wouldn't consider it to be one of the scariest films ever made. The same goes for 1960's Psycho, a classic film with a legendary twist, but hardly a film that still scares us to this day. Out of all the most common results when searching for this one definitive, impossible, scariest film ever, the best deserving may very well be 1974's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Why? Because it doesn't just show us scary stuff. The whole look and feel of a movie is similar to that of a snuff film and gives off a sense of unease from start to finish, with some really horrifying and scary moments that still freak us out to this day. Hello! What's interesting as well is that the fact that it isn't all as bloody and gory as it seems, which just goes to show how much scary ambience the movie actually has and that it can make you feel something without actually showing it. I still don't know if it's the scariest film ever made, but out of all the flicks I've mentioned, in my opinion, this is the most deserving. Sure, some of you might be saying, but it's borderline torture porn with stuff that I was excluding, but like I said, rewatch it and you'll see it isn't really that bloody. Really what it does is make you feel like it's bloodier than it is, which is a damn good sign. I guess there will never really be a scariest film ever accepted by all as everyone finds different things scary, however I do feel like nostalgia and attention to film quality and status played too much of a part in most people's lists. One thing that surprised me though was the absence of modern horror, which is weird as I feel there have been quite a few damn scary films in the past couple years. So in the next episode we're checking out some of the scariest modern horror films ever made. Until then, what do you guys think is the scariest movie of all time? 
Let us know in the comments. I'm your host, Sebastian Mendel Martinez, and I'm signing out. And the Oscar goes to...